This is that nigga Lowe's, and I'm here for you. I'm going to be bringing you all the good hood information all the time. Y'all thought I was gone. You motherfuckers, I'm back. That nigga Lowe's is back. And I'm about to give y'all all the good information all the time. Well, all you social media stank ass, raw ass, ratchet ass brats, I'm about to come. I'm coming for you. I am coming for you, so you better watch your back. Watch your back. Anything you do that's out of pocket, I'm coming for you. Now, I was in the mall the other day, and I saw uh, three rats that was three girls. I'm sorry I, I, if I called you a rat. That you girls, no, you ain't. You know the fuck you doing. You know exactly what you doing. It's your stank ass. I ain't got time for y'all. Each and every one of you, you silly, you stupid, you stank. But I love you. I ain't gonna even lie, dog. Uh, yeah, but so three rats is the best thing in the world. I know sometimes I be giving up mixed signals and, and mixed messages, but but I just love y'all so much. But I hate you. I hate you, but I love you. Especially you big booties. Why y'all walking around with all that ass cheeks? Walking around, uh, making enticing your boy. I ain't got time for all of this enticement. All this self-aggrandizing, you know, trying to share with me all of your lovelies and goodies. You know, and it's just making me feel bad. But I feel so good. Can I grab it? Would you be alright if I grabbed them cheeks? Maybe I could put both sides towards the middle. You know, maybe I could just put the head in and see if the rest will fit. Do all this thing. Check it out. I went to the store the other day. I met this girl at the movies over on the east side. All right. Uh, it was at the Star Theater. And, uh, you know, the Star, you know, a lot of times I try not to go past uh, 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 Woodward because uh, you motherfuckers be tripping on the east side. But the motherfuckers be tripping on the west side too. But I went to the Star Theater. And I got to the Star Theater and I met this chick. This chick, you know, she was a little short, little hottie, you know, uh, thick old booty, uh, thin waist, nice little body. I, I kind of liked her. I, I dug her. Little ratchety, colorful as fuck, boy. This chick is colorful as hell. Anyway, she, we, I talked to her. You know, nothing real special, kind of a meet and greet kind of thing. So, well, she gave me a number. I gave her a call, right? I gave her a call a little later on that night, right? But after the call, uh... After my first impressions, I knew me and this chick wasn't going to uh, vibe. We weren't talking no more after that day. Chick told me. She said, oh, you handsome. And you look like just the kind of guy I need. And I'm like, oh, what kind of kind of guy is that, baby? He said, you look like a guy that can give me 12 inches. 12? Oh, I do right away this relationship wasn't going to work because she was going to be disappointed like a motherfucker trying to get 12 out of me. I said, how about I give you six two times? You know, because uh, I'm not sure what this size 10 and a half told you inside of the grand scheme of what you think that I'm packing, but 12 ain't it. 12 is not what you're going to be working with as it pertains to uh, that nigga low. So, uh, needless to say, I never called her again because uh, her open orifices has probably uh, got too much space that I may not be able to fill. So, um, if your box is uh, is good for 6, 7, eight, you know, right in that age, then uh, we might work. But uh, other than that, I ain't got nothing else for you. At any rate, let's get on to uh, social media. Y'all niggas is, tr you know, it kind of keeps me going when looking at, uh, you know, I love Facebook, I love Instagram, and I, you know, I look at Twitter, but uh, no, I don't, I don't go to Twitter uh, too much. You know, my man Donald Trump is on Twitter uh, a little too much, and that nigga done took over the whole set. He actually, he took it over the whole set and everything else in regular uh, news as well. I ain't never seen so much white privilege in my entire life. You guys have wrote the book on shit you can get away with. Nigga, Barack Obama did half of the shit that you guys did. I'm not sure that black people would even be in this country. I'm almost positive you would have put black niggas back on the boat for, and for doing half the shit this nigga Trump did. But anyway, I digress. 
let's get back to the real point of uh, why I'm getting ready to do this podcast. And it's basically, I'm talking about social media. Social media has gotten Gail King, uh, the business, actually media in general, but social media is allowing us to see that shit in real time. And then now the, uh, I'm not saying the Illuminati, but they're going to make my boy Snoop Dogg apologize. Why the fuck he apologizing for how he feel? That nigga wasn't out of pocket. I mean, yeah, maybe he used some of the wrong languages. But, you know, I would have took off the ass in of that. But, like he said, what are you getting out of this? What is, she, what is she getting out of demonizing the black male? Nothing. Well, see, now me, that nigga Los is going to call a spade a spade. You and your girl has been... Oh, Susan Rice. Oh, this this just trick ass bitch right here. She going to talk about she was in the Obama administration she, she just made me not like that administration right away you gonna call yourself uh, saying you gonna bring the army against Snoop well it's gonna be a but we go all gonna be some fight motherfuckers up in here because I got my boy and you got you y'all may be bigger but don't think that some of you motherfuckers ain't gonna die neither I can't believe it. ain't you married to a white man so that means you got a stake in demonizing the black man yourself I ain't fuck with you. I ain't fuck with you at all. Matter of fact, you shouldn't even be in the limelight. I'm going to put a picture up uh, so people can see. See, here's uh, Susan Rice. Here's Susan Rice and her husband. And this is me giving her the finger. Fuck you, you red ass bitch. And this is uh, this is unfiltered. Just so y'all know that nigga Lowe's ain't playing and he ain't buying it. Uh, now, here's the words from my sponsor. 